So we already talked a little bit about Farman's introduction, so I'm not going to spend much time with it, in part because it's sufficiently um, straightforward that I don't really think you need any lecture to help you through concepts. But I do want to talk with you about the first chapter because it's primarily theoretical, and Farman walks us through a lot of concepts in history uh, with which you may not be familiar. So I'm going to offer, begin by offering a, his a gloss on his discussion of um, the ways that bodies and space are mutually constructed. What we mean by, what he means by mutually constructed is that the body is not a, a freestanding signifier uh, and neither is space. That these are things that are constantly produced through use. Um, so he talks a little bit about the Derridian idea of the mise on a beam, which is uh, called from heraldry. And if you can imagine a shield with an image of itself in sort of this endless recursive um, regression. Um, that's what it refers to, the idea that you can never really get outside of that representation, that image of itself. Knowing a body through our senses um, does give us information that takes us out of the body and then allows us to uh, constitute a conception of it. Um, another way of looking at that, he points to the work of Merleau-Ponty, um, but a, an easier way to get into that idea is the notion of proprioception. Yoga has certainly um, given me a sense of the proprioceptive because when I practice yoga, uh, I imagine a shape and then I make my body fill the shape I'm imagining. One thing that's important to note is that embodiment never happens outside of space. It's always produced through use. So as our bodies move through space, they become real in a way. We've always been good at gathering information from the exterior and processing it and using that to constitute our notion of self and body and space. But now we're also able to use mobile devices to pull information about the spaces we're in. And that changes both our concept of space and our concept of body.